Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You're back to a lot of the major bugs is why people you better know to kill him. You're back actor Jamie Aziz cries out as he shares this. Over the years, social media is a place where we get information about our favorite celebrities. And of course, a lot of celebrities in Nigeria have social media accounts where they reach out to millions of their fans, both home and abroad. The two Yoruba movie stars, Latiba Didimeji and Mipo Ibadi, got married last year. They are also one of Nigerians' favorite celebrity couple. And they share close bond with some of the movie stars in the Yoruba sector of Nollywood, including the Yoruba actor Jamie Aziz. Jamie Aziz is active on Instagram and other social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter. But then, he shared on his official social media platform that a fake information was being spread on a page that is being camouflaged as his own official social media platform. And one of the information being spread by this page was that there is a video clip where Bimbo Ibadi was harassing her husband, Jubato Latifa Didimiju, over intimacy and not having her time on bed. And then according to them, fans held Bimbo for action as she questioned her husband that all he focuses on is money and not giving her attention. And they added that the video should be watched on their page. However, there is no such video in existence. And this page, which has been branded as Jamie Aziz page, is a totally fake page. And you're back to Jamie Aziz, whose name has been used to spread this information, and who is also a close friend to the couple, to his official social media platform, to share the images and also caution the members of the public. And in his words, Please, I do not know anything about this Facebook page. Kindly disregard any information being shared on the page and help me report. My two Facebook accounts are Jamie Aziz Jamal and Jamie Aziz Jesus. And my only Facebook page is fans and friends of Jamie Aziz Oniwe. The Yoba actor Jamie Aziz is one of the close friends of this movie stars. And he has also been able to make a name for himself in the Yoba sector of Nandu. He made this debut in the movie industry after meeting the veteran Yoruba actor Jido Kosoko and today is the CEO of Jesus Production, his own movie production company. He also works as a script writer. He got nominated as the most promising actor of the year and best supporting actor of the year Yoruba categories at the City People Entertainment Awards. He's known to have featured the movies like Oni Dodo, Rufo, Aruli Are, Olale Konrawo, Ibese Ekute and Ikilo. Is also known to have produced blockbuster movies like Alabio Pomulero, Awawu Maru, Kuye, and Jamal. So, according to this movie star, please disregard this news being circulated on social media platforms. For more recent news on a couple, Latifa did image and Big Ibadi, please stay with us. Just recently, the Yuba actress Big Ibadi got honored as one of top 100 eco women. And the Lagos State Government, alongside other actors, including Tony Abraham and Funke Akindeli Bilo. And her husband, Latifa Didimiji, was also named as the highest grossing actor, the second on the list in all genres, both Yoruba and English genre of Nollywood. Also, being paid bad day became a brand ambassador to several reputable brands. Within the space of two months, she was signed by two to three different brands, and she also renewed one of her older contracts. The star actor Latifa Didimiji took to his official social media platform to jubilate his new win and he reiterated that he had said so much about the Ayinla geek but he will not stop because God has been good and kind to him. And Latifa expressed his excitement about this amazing achievement and he that being listed among the highest grossing actors means that he's not in the wrong profession. And he wrote, I said so much about the Ayinla geek but I can't stop. God is good and kind to me. Here's another evidence. I'm excited, and I know you are too, about this amazing achievement. And being listed tells me that I'm not in the wrong profession. And the ceiling is outrageously high. Let's have a drink, guys. The future we pray for is right here. Congratulations to us. Meanwhile, in another news, Latifa Didimeji also revealed that he's going to start his own academy, acting academy this year, the middle of this year. Is going to be helping to groom budding actors in the country to start up. This was what he revealed to Nan in an interview. And in his words, I'm starting soon. By the middle of this year, I should be launching an academy. Or well, it is just going to be 
10 people per year so that I can push them to a reasonable level and see that within a year they appear in all my productions. In my opinion, 10 persons a year is enough. If I have 50 and I release them at the same time every year, how do I even monitor them? He also added that part of his corporate social responsibility was to give back to the society that has supported his career. And in his words, also have a non-governmental organization, Great Minds Initiatives. I have about 80 youths from different universities and we engage in outreaches and gather at the youth center on a monthly basis to discuss their challenges. We also have those in schools that we try to pay their fees. We have them all victims, domestic abuse and violence victims. You just get them to talk and see how we can raise one another. So we must try to put a lot of the people that follow us on the right track and not just use the film to lead people astray. This was what we revealed in that interview. Well, over the years, Latifah Didimeji has going to become one of the most sought after actors in both Yoruba and English sector of Nollywood. He has become a toast of many producers. Many people were not surprised when he got the role to actors Ashiwaju Tinubu in The Last Man Standing. And according to the producer of that movie and publisher of The Best of Nollywood, Sholok Etui, it took a lot of hard work to finally get Latif to play that role. After considering lots of actors, himself and his team settled on Latif, knowing fully well that he would be able to deliver perfectly. And in his words, getting Latif to play that role was really difficult and remains the toughest part of it all because he didn't want to have anything to do with politics. But when we had the meeting, his wife was also present and also being an actor herself. She was also able to convince him that it's their profession and has nothing to do with politics. Despite all this, he still had to consult other few people before he finally made up his mind. While the movie, Jagaban, The Last Man Standing, is produced by Sean Luke Etui, and Paris stars like Latifa Didi Meiji, Shushu Abubakar, Prince Jide Kosoko, Shegu Anwize, Said Balogun, Puluke Damaramola, Alan Kofu, Yemi Black, Bolan Lesho, Me, Ayo Badness, among others. It's directed by Tunde Olawi and to be premiered on May 27th. So far, Latif has featured in four biopics as the main character. He featured on the one Ige, also Ayila, and then Strangers, and now there's The Last Man Standing. He has been picked over and over again because of his versatility and ability to bring the characters to life. And this is a little bit about this to ask the actors Latifa Didimeji and Bimpo Ibadi's wife. We have come to the end of this episode. Where your actor Jamie Aziz cries out and says that this information is not being spread by him. As they say that Latifa Didimeji begs his wife Bimpo Ibadi not to kill him. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.